Hello once again everybody, my name is Agent Mustache, and today we're going to be doing part 2 of how to make a map in the Hammer Editor on Gary's Mod. So, what we're going to do inside this episode before I start it is we're going to be making a house out of one block, and we're also going to put a submachine gun inside of that house that you are able to pick up. And let's just begin. I'm going to open up the map, and I already uploaded a video which was an attempt on this but I accidentally spilled coke all over my lap so I'm going to have to record re-record this which I'm currently doing so let's go so wait let me fix this up a bit so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the block that we're going to turn into a house on the map so I'm going to go to the block tool and then just place it right there go to browse here for the texture and just dev for development texture and this is what you're going to want to use for most of the maps that you're going to make if you want to make maps I guess you're going to want to use these two these are basic textures that you could use for pretty much everything before you add in actual textures so I'm just going to select this one and I'm going to go here, move it up, scale it up to what I want it to be for the player to scale along with the house. I'm just going to press enter to create it. So now we have this house here. What you may be wondering is how, I'm gonna, how am I going to turn this into a house? It's, a, it's just a giant gray block. What I'm going to do is descale this and now we have this. This is use these two to control the scale of the grid. So now I'm just going to select this, and, okay, I already messed up a bit. Let me explain to you what this is. This is a clipping tool. You use it to cut off parts of an object, or cut it up. So, I'm going to cut off walls of this house. So I'm going to do that, and if I were to press enter now, the wall would be gone. So, what I'm going to do is just make the roof first I'm going to do this and yet again if I press enter now it would delete the whole bottom half of it so I'm going to click this and it basically just changes what part is deleted so now I'll delete the top or I click it again and nothing's deleted but it's split up so now I can go back to the select tool and select the bottom of it and now I could do this and just do the same thing I just did and make the walls just cut out the walls of the house from the top view. And I select the next part and cut it out again. And I'm getting a message on Steam, but I'm just going to ignore it for now. So I would like to finish this. Alright, so now that I have the inside just one object, I could delete it and the inside will be clear, or I could uh, undo that and just on the grid view scale it down and I'm gonna scale down the grid itself again and just scale it down again and there we go so now it has a floor which is different to the outside which I'm gonna change in a second so now we're gonna make a doorway I'm gonna select the wall and go into the cut tool and just cut it out so one, two, three, four, five. all right Alright, there we go. So now I have. Whoops, that's for my drawing tablet. Now I have this has a doorway. And I'm just going to cut off the top of it compared to the scale of the player here, as you can see on that grid view. And I'm just going to press enter, select that, and delete it. So now we have a doorway into our house. So now I'm going to go to the top little texture application tool right here which is used to individually change the textures of surfaces so it's pretty useful for making maps so what I'm going to do is going to select the roof select this floor select this roof select that top of the doorway and I'm going to change those textures to orange so now there's a bit of a contrast between the walls and the roof and floors as you can see so now that we're done with that, 
what I'm going to do is show you how to place in the submachine gun or any gun you want from Half-Life 2. I'm going to go to the entity tool and just click right in the middle of the house. I'm going to double click on the entity tool to open up the properties and just click here where they have the class. Now what you're going to want to do to get a gun is go to what? Well, search in the class weapon underscore and they have all the weapons right here. And I do not want a 357 since we need, we're going to get an SMG for this. SMG1 and just select it and press apply. And there you go, you have a submachine gun. Now what I'm going to do is move it up a bit so that it doesn't get stuck in the floor. So yeah, that is the map. And I'm going to save it now and just compile it. There we go, it's done compiling. We can go to Gary's Mod, start new game, and just start game. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, Java, I do not want you to install. Even though I have Java installed and updated, I don't know why it... What the hell? What the heck? Sorry for that. Alright, I'll figure that out once I'm done recording. The Java's being dumb. So, to open up the map on Gary's Mod, you see it's open here. I don't know why my frame rate's being so slow. You can see up in the corner... It's at 100 frame rates, but OBS is deciding to record at like 20 frames per second. All right, so you see we have the house here. You enter the house. They have all the textures that we have, and you have a submachine gun. You select it, and it works. See, they have all the parts and stuff. Yeah. So now I'm gonna add into this video a little bit by doing a bit of extra so we're going to make a doorway so I go to the texture and search door and they're gonna have all the doors here I'm just gonna do actually I'm not gonna do that one it's a dev texture but I'm gonna need to show you how to make doors like doors are a bit strange in how they work so I'm gonna select just a door texture doesn't really matter which one and just drag it on there scale it to, whoops scale to fit properly scale it again again gonna just move it down to the ground press enter now you see this has the door texture this is not what we want so I'm gonna go to this well the select tool and just scale it in half move it right in the middle and scale it and the way this works is you have to scale it until you have the whole door texture there so I'm gonna scale it again and boom well I don't really want it like that so I'm gonna scale it inward a bit and I'm going to move it down until around that part I'm going to decrease the texture size a bit and the way doors work is to get them to be the proper size and stuff you have to scale them on the thing to where they fit into the texture it's a bit strange but if you continue to work on maps if that's what you want to do then you'll get better at it eventually and you'll understand it if you don't understand it first All right. So it looks like I'm gonna have to move the roof up a bit to have this door texture scale all the way. There we go. That's the door. So I'm going to fix this a little bit to where the door is fitting perfectly by scaling the object above it and this one on the side and this one on the side. So now the door fits in perfectly and now we're gonna want to open it which is pretty interesting to do to be honest with you so just double click the door no don't do that control T to open up the properties for the door and at the top they have funk detail what you want to do is funk 
door. And they have funk door and funk door rotating. We're going to go over rotating in a later episode. But right now we're just going to do door. Which is going to look strange with the texture I chose for the door. Because it's just the way the door works. So now that we did that, I'm going to go. Alright. Look through these and they have move direction. And I'm going to do that. Which makes it actually let me make sure it's perfect. 180 degrees. And that's gonna mean that the door slides to the well to the side. To the left, I guess. Cause the door rotating, it makes the door rotate open. But that's a bit more confusing than just regular door, which makes the door slide. So it's a wooden door that slides. Now that I showed you how to make the door, I'm gonna compile it. Once it's done compiling, I'm going to launch the map. And, yeah. Now that we're in the game, you see that the door is here, and I'm just gonna walk into it. Alright, the door is not working properly. See, so you learn from this. So, to make the door work more properly, I suppose, just, hmm, this, make it point 90 degrees, and it's going to go 90 degrees, which means it'll hopefully go up, unless if we can do something else in which we make it do go down. Now that's done, save, alright. Done. Go into the game. Alright. Alright, now that we're in the game, let's see how well this turned out. Boom. So, if you just get a metal texture for the door or something like that, uh, you gotta fix the textures on the top if you don't want it to look like that. But, that's just how you make a door that slides up and down. And you grab the SMG, shoot the door. In the next episode, I'll go over placing NPCs and breakable objects. And some special thing, which you'll learn about in the next episode of how to make a map in the Hammer Editor. That has been it for this video, and I'll see you in the next video.